Go. Hello everyone, this is Robert Cecil in the Finance Department. I'm coming to you from my home here in Marion County. Uh, more specifically, we're here in St. Francis, located right in between Loretto and New Hope on State Route 52. Uh, but the prayer I'm going to share with you this morning is a prayer that I say each day on my morning walk. Uh, the prayer I really started once the coronavirus really ramped up and I think we all began to understand the serious impacts that it was having on everyone. Uh, but I ask that you join me this morning in saying this prayer. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we'd like to ask that you look after all those individuals that have passed away as a result of this virus. Please help them find rest and peace and look after their loved ones that they've left behind, that they may not feel so alone. Um, we'd also like to pray for all those individuals that are currently sick fighting this virus. Please give them the strength to get through this and become healthy. We'd also like to pray for those individuals who are elderly, who are alone in nursing homes, hospitals, and at their home. Uh, many of these individuals aren't seeing the visitors they normally would and are surely lonely right now if not confused uh, please stay close to them comfort them so that they may not feel so alone during this difficult time we'd also like to pray for all those people that have been impacted by the virus in various negative ways those that have lost their jobs their incomes unable to provide for their families those that are frustrated, those that are scared, those that are unsure, please provide all of them courage, wisdom, and opportunities to move forward and get through this virus. Lord, we ask you to look after all of us as we get through these difficult times. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit.